fees. So right now I'm gonna be showing you guys on iOS 13.2.2 which is the newest iOS that has been released. So if you guys haven't jailbroken iOS 13 just yet, be sure to check the link in the description below in order to jailbreak. And of course, if you guys are interested in winning some AirPods, I have the instructions on how to do that in the description below. So let's get into these tweaks. The first tweak I wanna show you guys is called Artisty. So what this does is it uses the album artwork next to the songs inside of Spotify. So if I go ahead and open up Spotify and we just tap on a playlist, you can see that it has all of the album artwork right here next to the song. And that's what Artisty does. Next, we have another Spotify tweak and it's called Canvas. So if you go to a playlist and it's playing some videos in the background, then this is actually going to allow you to save that directly to your photo album. So all you have to do is just tap and hold and it's gonna save it directly to your photo album just like that. And you can see right here, if we open that up, we have that saved to our photo album. Next up, we have CC Modules. This is one that's been around for a long time, but it's a good one. And if you guys don't know about it, you should. So it's really simple to set up. What this does is allow you to add a ton of different modules to your control center. So if we open up our settings app and we tap on control center here, tap on customize controls. And then if we scroll down here, you're gonna see a ton of all of these control center modules. So you can add these however you want to, in whatever order you like. And then once you add those, they're gonna show up inside of your control center. So if we wanted to add home button and let's add Falza, dark mode, Cydia, and safe mode. So if we go ahead and swipe down on our control center, you can see these new toggles that have been added. So if we press on this one, it's going to open up Cydia right there. And same thing for Falza. If we tap on that, you can go to the apps manager or the music library. So we'll go to the app manager right there to open that up. So a lot of modules to add and look through. The next tweak we have is called circle icons. And what this does is add circular icons for all of your icons in your settings app. And that's all that it does, a simple one, but it makes things look nice and clean. Speaking of clean, clean home screen is the next tweak I wanna show you, and it makes everything look clean. So all you gotta do here is go into your settings and go into your tweaks, clean home screen, and then you can toggle on all of these different things. So we'll go ahead and toggle them all on. And what this is going to do is just make your home screen look quite a bit more minimalistic. Once you toggle those on, we're gonna tap on the respring button and we're going to swipe to unlock here. And then you can see we got rid of the background for the dock. We got rid of all the icon labels. We got rid of the status bar. There's a lot of different things that you can get rid of. One thing that doesn't work, I noticed, is the badges. So you can see the badges are still here, but I do actually have that toggled off. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, when you're messing with this tweak. For more cleanliness, you can download Clean Player. Clean Player is another tweak I wanna show you guys, and this is one that takes away a lot of the annoying or ugly, or maybe just cluttered is the right word, in your music player. So you can see it looks a lot cleaner right here. Let's actually play some music, and we'll take a look at what it looks like on the lock screen here. So let's play something here, and let's go to our lock screen. And you can see what that looks like there. So we're hiding three different elements. I'll show you that here in the settings, but you can see that it looks quite a bit nicer. Now, there's a lot of tools on here that you, I just don't use very often. So I think it looks a little bit cleaner just having these UI elements hidden. So if we go into our settings here and we go down here to clean player and we open that up, you can see that we're hiding the time labels, we're hiding the time slider and the airplay icon. So if that's something you wanna check out, download clean player. Next is color my battery. So this is going to allow you to customize the color of your battery depending on the battery level of your device. So right now it's charging. So I have a specific color dedicated to the color of the battery when it's charging. But you can see here, if we go into color my battery settings panel, this is what it's going to allow you to do. So you have basically 10% increments here that you can change the color of your battery. So all the way from green, blue, to purple, pink, yellow, all the way to a pale red. So if we go ahead and take this off, it's actually still green because it's pretty high up there, but it, it was working earlier. I had it in the, uh, the 81 to 90% range 
and it was blue. But this is working and it's a cool one at that. And of course you can customize these colors to whatever you'd like. Next tweak is called Dismiss Progress. So what this does is allow you to not have to restart your springboard every single time you install a tweak. So let's say you're installing several tweaks and you wanna install them in you know fairly small increments rather than installing all of them at the exact same time because if one tweak fails to install, then the rest of the tweaks in that list fail to install. So for instance, we've already covered circle icon. So if I wanted to remove it, you can see we'll remove it right here. And then it's gonna come up with a restart springboard right down there. But if I'm not too worried about it, it gives me that close button right up there in the top right hand corner that I can just tap on and go along with my business. Now, keep in mind that restarting the springboard does completely uninstall the tweak. So if you don't see changes after you've uninstalled or installed tweaks, then make sure you restart your springboard. Next up, we have double cut. This is an oldie but a goodie. All you do is double tap on the at symbol and it's going to input your email address. So if we just go up here and we double tap on the at symbol, you can see it's gonna put my email address in there. And of course you can make this to whatever you want. It just makes sense to do your email address because that's kind of annoying. But you can also do your own. Just put the key that you want to double press up here and then put the phrase or the string that you want it to expand to and then save it and you'll be good to go. Next up, we have a tweet called Easy Switcher X. Now this is a really simple one and what it does is allow you to open up your app switcher and then you can swipe down on any app card here and it's gonna give you a nice little menu here where you can kill all your applications, you can respring your device or you can reboot it. Now, if you tap on respring, you can confirm it or cancel it right there, and then it's going to respring your device. Also, every time that I respring my device, you see this Apple logo, that is due to a tweet called Make Resprings Great Again. And of course, we had to talk about Filza, which is basically the new iFile. I mean, some of you guys probably don't even know about iFile anymore because it's been kind of not used for a while, but Filza is a file manager. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open this up, it's exactly what you would think you would get from a file manager on your iPhone. Right now I'm in my apps manager, so you can see all the apps that I have downloaded. And you can basically navigate all the way back to root and through any directory that you could ever possibly need to get into. And of course, I always like to add a little warning to files. If you don't know what you're doing when you're manually installing tweaks or themes, then maybe just don't do it or look for a tutorial. Because the last thing that you want to do is delete some file that is absolutely necessary and screw up something on your device. Next is a tweak that I mentioned in my previous video and that's called Flame. So Flame is going to allow you to do several different things that make Cydia just a little bit more useful. And one of the main things that I like to use it for is that batch install of repos. So once you install Flame, you can actually go into Cydia and then I have a link of all my repos. I'll be sure to link that in the description below as well. But basically what you wanna do is install Flame and then you can go to your sources and then tap edit, tap add, and then you can go into batch mode. So you would copy all of those sources that I have linked down below on your device. And then once you hit batch mode, it's going to ask you and confirm that you wanna add all those repos at the exact same time. So this makes things a whole lot easier rather than having to type in each and every one of these repos in order to add them. Now that's the main reason that I use Flame, but it does have some other features right here if you wanna look through those as well. Next up is Floating Dock. So if you're a fan of the iPad dock, then you're gonna like this one. You can see that I have my dock right here, my standard four icons, and then there's a little line right there, and then it has my last used app, as well as a remote app that I have open up on my iMac. So if I wanted to open that up, it's always available, or if I wanted to open up my last used app, then it's right there available for me as well. Next up is hide your apps. So this is gonna be a pretty useful tweak if you like to hide some applications that you don't want anybody to see, or maybe you don't wanna see because you don't use them that often, but you don't really wanna delete them. So in your settings app, you just go to hide my apps and go into that uh, control panel, open that up, and then you're gonna see select apps to hide. So if you tap on that, you can toggle on all of your apps. So all, these are all your apps. So let's just say that we want to get rid of, let's just get rid of books. So now we go back, we want to respring our device and we should no longer see books on our home screen. So I do not see books here, no books. So if I go to Spotlight and I type in books, there it is right there if I ever wanna use it. Next you'll notice I have a tweak installed called Hide Bar X. So it doesn't put that home bar down at the bottom in any location whatsoever. So it's really nice to get rid of just to make it look cleaner and more minimalistic. 
I never really liked that home bar, so it's nice to have a tweak that can get rid of it. Next is Keyboard Accio. Now what this does is allow you to switch between two separate keyboards quickly without having to cycle through all your keyboards if you have multiple keyboards. So let's just say that you like to use an emoji keyboard and your English keyboard, then you can set that up to quickly switch between those two rather than having to cycle through all of them. So I just added a, an Albanian keyboard, which you can see right here if I tap on this, you can see it's changed to a different keyboard right there. So I'm just switching back and forth. Whenever you want to switch to your third keyboard or fourth keyboard, you just tap and hold and then you can go to that keyboard. Next, we have a messaging tweak called message typing indicators. And what this does is keep your ellipses from showing up to the recipient of whoever you're texting. So when you're typing right here, they're not actually going to see that on their side when you have this tweak installed. Another tweak I've mentioned in the past is no D&D banner. This is a tweak that's going to get rid of the do not disturb banner in your notification center and on your lock screen because in my opinion, it just doesn't look good. This just hides it and you can see if I go into my control center, I have do not disturbed on, but there's no banner indicator. Now it can't be the only one that turns on their flashlight and forgets to turn it off. So this is a tweak that is going to automatically turn off your flashlight after a specific amount of time. So you have a timeout time right here that you would just input in minutes. That way when you use your flashlight and you accidentally leave it on, it's not gonna drain your battery like crazy because it'll automatically turn off after five minutes or whatever else you input here. Next up we have a tweet called passcode text. And what this does is allow you to change the text on your passcode screen. So you can see right here, I've enabled the tweak and then I inputted whatever I wanted to. I just have no touchy right here. You can change this up to say whatever you want. You can use emojis in there if you'd like. Just another way to customize your passcode screen. Next up, we have pull to respring. This is one that I always have installed on my device. So you can see right here, all you do is go up to the very top, you pull down on the settings and it's gonna respring your device. A nice and simple tweak that makes it easy to respring your phone. Next up, we have real CC. So rather than leaving your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth turned off temporarily, this is going to disconnect it and turn it off completely. So for instance, if we turn that off, it's gonna turn off and stay off. And that's due to real CC. Next up, we have simple passcode buttons. So what this does on your passcode screen is it makes it look a whole lot cleaner. So you can do a couple of different setups here. I have it hiding everything. So we have no numbers, we have no letters, all in this passcode screen, and I think it looks pretty nice. Next up, we have sleepy time. So with this tweak, it's really simple. All that it does is tell you how much time you have left until your alarm goes off. Next up, we have a tweak called small Siri. Now what this does is make Siri not take up the entire screen when you use her. So it's only going to actually take up a banner notifications worth of space right up there at the top when you enable Siri. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And you can see what that looks like. Once you're done speaking with Siri, if you need to you know, talk to her, then you can just tap on that button or you can just swipe up to dismiss it. Next up is status switcher. So what this does is show your status bar inside of your app switcher. Another tweak that I love to install right when I jailbreak my device is swipe for more. This is going to allow you to do a whole lot of things inside of Cydia a whole lot easier. So rather than having to, if I wanted to uninstall this tweak, I would tap on it, I would tap modify, I would tap remove and then I'd tap continue queuing if I wanted to make more actions or add more things to uninstall prior to actually uninstalling this. So you can do that, but with swipe for more, if I go ahead and swipe over here and if I wanted to queue this up to uninstall, I would tap the QX and then that's all you have to do. So it's only a swipe and a tap away rather than several taps. Same thing for installing a tweak. So if you wanted to install a tweak, these are actually all tweaks that are already installed. So let's just go over here and swipe over. You can see you can queue it to install or you can install it right there with the blue button. And last but not least, we have tap, tap, flip. This is a really simple tweak. If you open up the camera app and you wanted to switch it to the front facing camera, all you would do is double tap on the screen and it's gonna flip back to the front facing camera. Same thing for switching it back to the rear facing. And in some cases, just makes things a little bit more convenient to switch back and forth between that camera. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak, everything Apple, or any other tech that I want to cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.